know that wearing face masks is one of the most important components to keeping our community safe during this pandemic, and we have shown you a few ways to make your own face masks already. Only with the beginning of the school year fast approaching, we decided it would be a good idea to show you how to make face masks that are made with your children in mind. I must say as a kid, the cuter the face mask or the more fun it is, the more apt I would be to accepting the fact that I had to wear it. And that's definitely one of the keys to doing this. And that's definitely what you we did. are doing. And this is cute. It's, you know, it's one of those things we're seeing, it's always changing. First, the school district here in Sioux Falls said that they're recommended. Now they're saying they're going, they're going a step farther with that. Right. Um, who knows what's gonna happen? It might become like a hard requirement. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be surprised. So face masks are something we need to think about. The key is to, I think, make it fun, get them involved. Also, make it something that is comfortable for them and that they can wear and that they won't lose. So I've got tips right. for all of that. So just to get started, what I've done is I've taken my favorite face mask pattern that we did on the show already, and I have adjusted it to make it a kid's size. And I just used tracing paper to go over that and go down a size mm -hmm. around it to make it smaller. And will this be available online for yes. everyone? Okay. I will have my pattern online that I made. Also though, I posted this to Facebook and one of our viewers, Heidi, put a link on to another pattern that's the same pattern that's been adjusted by somebody else for other sizes too. Oh, perfect. So I'll put a link for that one too because that might work better for you. And that one has the whole set. What I'm doing is my original one, and you can go watch this segment, had an interior where you could put a filter. Oh, yeah. But that makes it a lot harder. And honestly, with kids, the harder it is for them to breathe, the less they're gonna keep that on. And so adding that extra filter layer might not be the best idea. Mm -hmm. We wanna keep them protected, but there's a balance, right? Something right. I'll wear versus something I'm just- Especially if they're off. going to be wearing it for a majority of the day at school. Right, so, so I made this a lot easier this time and I am just doing the, the outside shape twice and putting okay. it together. And then you traced it, is that the next step? Yep. So I traced it off of that and then, then I cut out my pattern. So this is two pieces that I cut out and for each face mask you need four of these pieces. Okay. So then you take two of them, put the right sides together, sew along that curve, right? That's what you would do. So that's what I this have. This outside curve. Yep. Yep. So that's what I have here. And then I'm gonna take two pieces. One is inside out, one is right side out. Tuck them together. Pin it probably with some pins, mm -hmm. unless you're like me and you just go for it. And then you're going to sew, and we did this in detail on that mask sew, so I'll put a link to that yeah. actually in this too. But you're gonna sew all the way around, but leave just the edge open on this one, okay? And that's what I've done here. So do you wanna flip that inside out? Yes. While you're flipping that inside out, I wanna just talk a little bit about, cause that takes a minute. It's a little bit hard when you've got that one so skinny edge. It's just this edge. Yep. So everything is sewed, yep. except for this edge. And so you just kind of- Yeah, you just gotta kind of flip it out. <laughs> and it, it might help you use the- I pull the stitching out. It's okay, cause that's gonna get restitched. You, you can use the back of this pencil to shove it through. Okay. If you need to. Now, um, one thing that also somebody posted when I was sharing this yesterday was ways to keep your kids engaged. And so yeah. she showed me masks that she made with her kids. They did tie-dye masks together. So I put a picture. Big trend. This is from Casey Lanning. I have her Instagram um, tag on there, but that's a great way to get your kids involved and have them want right. to wear the mask too. Because so would you just use regular white or yeah. a lighter color and then tie-dye that? Yes. And or use bleach. You don't need to buy tie-dye. If you get a colored mask, I'll bleach. put a link to your bleach on there too. <laughs> and you can use t-shirts. T-shirts are a great material for this and that's something easy to tie-dye, so mm -hmm. you can do it. And so that's you know a really good way to kick keep kids involved. Now, are you getting that through? So once you get it all the way through. It's a little baby one. And then I still use the same thing I was using before where I put a hair tie in each side, fold one edge over. On the edge that isn't sewn, you're gonna fold it over twice to keep it nice. Okay. And just sew in these hair ties and it makes it done like this. I love it. Easy, right? Yeah. Now, I'm gonna show you the way I made this really fun. I love this. Right? It's Perfect. <laughs> okay, so I have a front, so I'm gonna do the drawing before I sew the two pieces together so I don't accidentally draw through the uh, backside. Okay. So I'm just gonna take my mask piece and a fabric marker. Okay, I'm gonna have to look at my design here. And I'm gonna go down here in the middle on the seam and on one side I'm gonna draw a heart, the side of a heart, okay? Okay. And then that is gonna come, this is my hack here that I'm showing you. I'm gonna come down the line here for the mouth. Oh, I got kind of a little bit 
have a mess there. And then up for the mouth. And then I'm going to do three dots or four dots for these little dots. However dot many line. dots you yep. want to do, right? And then I'm going to do a uh, whisker, whisker, whisker. And then my key there is now fold the mask and you can see your lines from the other side and that makes a symmetrical lion face ah. instead of trying to get the whole thing. And the kids could do this part too. Yeah, they definitely can make their own faces and stay involved. So I know we've also done segments too where you've taught us how to make a mask that is no sew. Mm -hmm. So using this for kids, is there any tips you have for making a no-sew mask for people who don't yeah. have access? You know, my favorite no-sew mask is the t-shirt sleeve one. Use a kid size t-shirt and you're going to be golden. And, and I should make I'll it post smaller. a link to that too. So there we've got that. And then um, I want to show you one thing here too. Now, one thing is your kids might lose their mask, right? So this is a good hack. So I'm putting my mask on and then I'm going to give my kids a lanyard, clip my lanyard to the string here. And then they can't, they're not going to, wait, if I could clip it, it would work better. <laughs> but then they're not going to always backwards. They're not going to lose it, right? right. So I'm going to take That's it off and wear idea. it. And then if you don't like these hair ties, there's a great drawstring hack out there where you can use two pieces of elastic and a bead to make a drawstring. So that's there on the... Oh, the bead. Yeah. And you've shown us different ways, too, to make it mm -hmm. with the... Um, Strings instead yeah. and elastic. The hair ties work great for me. Most likely in the school, once they're in their seat and, and distance, they're going to mm -hmm. be able to take their masks off. So right. these work. These yeah. work. So here's all my ideas. I love it. Thanks so much, Ashley, for teaching us how to do this. Thank you. We're going to put a lot of these links in the article so you can we find are. everything.